If, if she weren't in that position, she would be out of her mates. Okay. When teaching assistants are working in groups, Carla? what I find really valuable is when they're questioning the pupils there very much so that they're pushing and they're very good at, and accustomed at questioning at the right level, which I might, if I'm working for one group, I not, might not be able to do switch quickly enough if I'm going to talk to Anita or Victor. But they're very accustomed at working at the right level, thinking of the right sort of questions. And that's what I like them doing is kind of just questioning, you know, prompting with those questions, rephrasing questions if necessary, but also being able to relate it to their experience. So a good knowledge of the pupils is useful and therefore being able to relate what they're doing back to the pupils' own experience. So they're kind of, they've got a knowledge base there that they're working from. Is there anything else we can say about the picture? There isn't a lot of writing on there. Why do you think there's not a lot of writing? Because it leaves you thinking about like, what she's gone through. Excellent. So, um, this is how your child could end up if you keep doing the same thing. Do you think that they've presented it well for us to think about it? Yeah, I reckon they do. The audience for it are probably is that the teenage, that mainly is for teenagers. And we've also noticed that there's it's the same person in different places. All right, good. All right. Do you want to they are very experienced teaching assistants and quite expert at judging when it is that they can be working closely with the pupil and when it is to move away and to back off, just so that they can work in their groups. And they're often in that sort of situation, they interact much better without any external support and they don't need that support. There is not much texture on it because... Um, like, when you go away, yeah, you think about, like, how she's feeling. There are less experienced teaching assistants, or they're not used to working in that way. Then sometimes it needs a bit of teacher intervention to say, actually, I think they can, you know, I want to see what they can do on their own now. Or, you know, let's try it a little bit more hands-off.